Hello everybody, here's Martin, your personal water sommelier. Today I have something very, very special and I feel honored because many of you reach out to me on social media and always ask me, Martin, please do a review on Samsam water. This is obviously, we all know, the holy water of Mecca. And I feel very, very honored to have Ziad right in front of me because guess what? He brought me Samsam water. And it's the first time today I'm gonna taste Zamzam water and I wanted to showcase it to you with, with you together. So Zia, first of all, thank you so much. Please tell me a little bit about Zamzam water. Well, I want to qualify everybody. I'm not a, an expert, but uh, a Zamzam water comes from Makkah in Saudi Arabia, which is the holy city where there's a, you know, an annual uh, pilgrimage called the Hajj. Uh, and it's very sacred to most Muslim families. Um, you know, it's used as you know, a healing source, a gift. Um, you know, ritual, sometimes it's mixed in regular water, um, but it all has one source. That source comes from Mecca, which is in the middle of the desert, and the mystifying aspect of that is that there's no water around. Mm. And so it's a deep water well. It's intrinsically tied to the, the Hajj uh, ritual, where um, part of the, the process and ritual is based on the uh, need for water. And uh, um, it goes back to an Abrahamic uh, story where uh, the uh, a mother's uh, need for water for her child and how that was divinely provided for her from that. And, um, and so the uh, taste, the minerals, everything in here is really sacred to, to us. Um, but beyond that, you're the water expert, so we wanted you to have a taste and, and see what you feel about it. And also, uh, you know, uh, there's, a, there's this tremendous amount of research behind it as well now, these days. Um, and the source of this particular bottle is near and dear. Last year, a uh, year before last, my brother, who used to live in, in the Middle East and work there, um, came back home with uh, a true source from the government of, the Saudi, Arabia, of Saudi Arabia. He since then, during the pandemic, got locked down over here and passed away. So this particular batch of Zumzum has a deep connection oh, to us. It's the last remaining sort of gift from him. Uh, so we wanted to share it because we we're so inspired by what we were saying about water and how, um, how much education there is in the fact that we as a human race rely on such a small amount of this water and it's it is truly a universal language yes for for all of us yeah. and uh, uh that was really inspiring today so you made our our saturday morning <laughs> awesome thank you so much thank you so much first of all i feel even more honored now in in honor of your brother obviously to 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 taste this water and again i never had zam zam water before i know a lot about zam zam water because i was reading about this as well and what you just said is is, is really why I'm so passionate about water, because people engage with water in a different way on a daily basis. And yes, we should honor water, because without water, we wouldn't be on this planet. And water is for me more than just the H2O that comes out of the faucet. Yeah. So thank you so much for, for doing this. So let's see how Zam Zam water will taste to me. So it's a still water. It has a beautiful, yeah, that's correct. We should share water. Yes. I think this is something very important as well. When you have access to good water, you should always share it with your friends and your loved ones. Yes. Cheers to your brother and Thank cheers you. to everybody who enjoys water. It's very unique. It has an extremely smooth mouthfeel. It's very, very smooth on the palate. And it has a, it engages very interesting as well the aftertaste. It doesn't dry out your mouth. Sometimes when you have like waters who are like very still and no carbonation, they're drying out on your palate. It lingers very long on your palate, I think. That's very unique. It has very interesting earthy tones. There's a historic aspect to it for me. It's very interesting. Um, it has almost like this when you're walking into an old ancient building. This is what I remember myself from a taste perspective of this water. And it sounds crazy that I'm saying this. It's really like that. And everybody who's here should actually taste this because it's very unique. 
from a taste perspective. It's really like when I'm closing my eyes, I would see myself in a very old traditional building. And this is what I'm really interesting about this. I think it's great. I love that water because there is a characteristic to it. And that is for me always what I love about water. When I feel there's a characteristic to water, there's something uniqueness to water, then I'm going to honor water because it's different. And we should honor different sea on this planet. Thanks again. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.